Hi everyone, I'm Ella Cochran. And I'm Claire Doty. In this video, we're going to ask for your help in protecting Lake Pepin. Today, you'll be making a short and a fun video using your cell phone or a family member's. And together, using the collective power of community media, we're going to keep Lake Pepin clean, clear, and preserve it for future generations. But in order to do that, it's important to hear about the challenges we face in preserving the lake we love and how we can meet those challenges head on. So Riley and Kenzie will now tell us a little bit about Lake Pepin and show us a fun music video. After that, Ella and I will be back to show you how to make your own video, showing us what you do in or around Lake Pepin. Hi, I'm Riley Main. And I'm Kenzie Becko. And we work for a locally based nonprofit called the Lake Pepin Legacy Alliance. We're here to help support the protection of Lake Pepin and the animals, plants, and people that depend on it. Lake Pepin is an awe-inspiring natural resource, surrounded by charming small towns, magnificent bluffs, and a rich ecosystem. It is an unforgettable place to visit, to grow up around, or to retire nearby. Whether camping at local state parks, witnessing dozens of bald eagles flying overhead, water skiing, or sailing across its waters, if you visited Lake Pepin, the memories are sure to be lasting. As part of the Upper Mississippi River, Lake Pepin is a dynamic system, vulnerable to natural and human-induced changes. As with any river, it will look and function differently with the passage of time. While some change is expected, too much change at any one time can break a natural system, and this has led to our organization getting involved. Right. So despite its commanding presence and importance, Lake Pepin is not immune from human impacts. Land use changes have accelerated erosion upstream and dramatically increased the amount of sediment flowing into the lake. Today, the rate of sedimentation is 10 times higher than normal, and annual loads are equivalent to a city block filled to the height of the Fauché Tower in downtown Minneapolis. That's crazy. I know. And the repercussions of all that sediment are more and more evident. Upper Lake Pepin is impaired for high turbidity, which is just a fancy word describing how cloudy the water is from all the sediment suspended in it. Not surprisingly, water that looks like chocolate milk isn't good for the ecosystem. Right now, turbidity levels in Upper Lake Pepin have surpassed scientific thresholds that predict ecological collapse. Sediment also accumulates on the bottom of the lake, which causes additional habitat loss. And of course, it interferes with many of the activities we humans have come to love on Lake Pepin. Communities have become isolated from the lake, recreational access has been dramatically reduced, and boat groundings have reached an all-time high. It's obvious that business as usual is not sustainable and something needs to be done. Fortunately, human actions have the potential to improve, not just destroy, natural resources. Exactly. Sometimes we focus so much on the problems that humans cause for our environment, we forget how much we can do to preserve it. Working with communities all around Lake Pepin, we have brought together local, state, and federal partners to construct a large-scale restoration project. Using innovative techniques that have been successful on other stretches of the river, our goal is to improve water clarity, create fish and wildlife habitat, and provide more recreational opportunities for visitors and residents alike. Essentially, the plan is to construct new islands and extend existing islands to create more natural sediment deposition. By dredging areas that have filled in, we can create pockets of quiet, undisturbed areas with depths sufficient to support healthy fish and wildlife. The islands are constructed from sediment from the bed of the river and keep the dredged areas protected. They also provide new terrestrial habitat for shorebirds and other migratory waterfowl. Wow, that's pretty cool. So we can use material that would otherwise be destructive to restore the area. Yep. And the deeper water creates more access for recreational boaters, so everybody wins. The project is expected to improve conditions for about 50 years and will require funding and public support. But we can accomplish a lot by allowing local voices to be heard. And one day, the next generation will have to do their part if they want to see the area thrive. Given Lake Pepin's ecological, social, and historical importance, you might be thinking, what could I possibly do to help? Well, nobody can do it alone, but everybody's participation is crucial to protect Lake Pepin for future generations. Everybody, regardless of your age, gender, or education, has something to contribute to the effort. 
Here are some ways to help. First, enjoy Lake Pepin. Explore, play, and make memories. A lake that people use is a lake that people love and protect, so go out and have fun. Two, educate friends and family. Inform others about Lake Pepin's water quality concerns, the reasons it needs protection, and the forces driving its impairment. And finally, share your stories. When you recreate in or around Lake Pepin, you develop local knowledge about the lake's value and its health. You might notice stream bank erosion, a sediment plume, or a newly formed island. You might notice that you can no longer go boating in areas you once enjoyed. Those stories can be used to inform decision makers. And your fun stories? Well, they shine light on how important this particular resource is to its communities. So we need everybody who loves Lake Pepin to join us on the road to restoration. Tell us why you love Lake Pepin and what you want its future to look like. Claire and Ella will show you how to share your story in a short, easy, and fun video. But first, we want to show you how we told our story with an award-winning music video. We live in a lake. 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 Put all the people on alert. Lake Pepin's filling up with dirt. But there's something you can do. Join the LPA crew. Silt and sand and muck and mud. Lake Pepin's really filling up. After learning all about Lake Pepin and the Lake Pepin Legacy Alliance, you may be wondering, what are you actually going to be doing for this project? We're here to tell you. Basically, you'll be creating a video that showcases you and your relationship to Lake Pepin. You can do this project by yourself or with a partner. It's pretty easy. You'll go out to Lake Pepin and use your phone to film. You can all take time being on and off camera. Once you're happy with your finished product, your leader will tell you what to do with it next. But what actually goes in the video? It's up to you. Consider what activities you do in and on Lake Pepin. This could be boating, swimming, hiking, photography, fishing, or spending time with your family. Choose one topic and have it be the theme of your video. We eat blank in or on the lake. Just like the We Live in the Lake video produced by the Lake Pepin Legacy Alliance and Ecosong.net. Once you have a theme, Consider other questions you may want to answer in your video. Why do we need to protect Lake Pepin? How have you observed sedimentation impacting Lake Pepin? What is your favorite Lake Pepin memory? Once you've considered all of this, you're ready to film. 
We can't wait to see all your videos. We live in a lake. We live in a lake.